Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing another cheap versus expensive art supplies comparison. And today we're going to be working with brush markers, specifically water-based or watercolor brush markers. And the two brands that I'm going to be comparing for you guys today are the Tombow Dual Brush Pens and the Arteza Real Brush Pens. So as you can see here, they both have circular black barrels and the Tombow has two tips. So one side is a felt brush tip and the other one is a fine sort of bullet tip. And the Arteza brush pen, as the name would imply, is a real brush pen. So it has synthetic bristles that kind of separate and kind of gives you more of that real brush experience. As far as price goes for these guys, the Tombow set that I have is the 96 color set and that currently goes for $144 on Amazon and that takes it to about $1.50 per marker where the Arteza brush set of 48 colors, which is what I have, is at like $49 on Amazon, which is more than I paid for it. To be honest, I think you could wait it out and probably get a cheap price for that or if you go right to Arteza's website they offer it a lot cheaper on there so I would either wait for the price to drop on Amazon if you're interested in those or just go right to Arteza's website. Here I'm just testing out the different brush strokes for you guys so you can see that the Arteza brushes they tend to be a little bit dry and you get a little bit more of a dry brush effect the ink doesn't flow quite as easily, but they seem to have a wider range of line width to them than the felt tip brush of the Tombows. And if you're thinking of these as a cheaper alternative to like alcohol based markers, like Copic markers, they don't really work that way. These ones are meant to be for the most part used with water. The way that you use them is a little bit differently. So you can see there that I kind of watered each one down because the color the ink or whatever it is is water based they are meant to be kind of activated with water or at least blended together i know tombow even sells like blending card that you can get so you can blend them together on like a resistant uh, paper like if you've ever used yupo paper which is like a plastic sort of paper where everything just kind of sits wet on top it's something like that and the tombows are kind of meant to do that so what I'm doing here is I actually did a sketch and transferred those lines onto two of the same type of watercolor paper so that I would actually be working with the same sketch here. So I wouldn't have any variance in the final product in that regard. Ultimately, the colors did end up way more different than I was expecting, but that's okay. What I really want to show to you guys here isn't, you know, how close can I get these two illustrations to be exactly the same as each other. What I really want to talk about was my experience using both of these tools. So I wasn't really trying to make both illustrations exactly the same, but I wanted to talk to you more about you know, how much did I enjoy using them individually? And I will say I've had the Tombow dual brush pens for a really long time. I say really long, but I've had them for over a year. And I actually haven't used them for a while because when I first got them, I was trying to use them more like I would alcohol markers or something like that, where you just lay the color down. And I found them to not work very well for that. One, because the color was pretty streaky. And two, because the felt tips are pretty abrasive on paper. So when I was using them in like a normal sketchbook or even a mixed media sketchbook, they would ruin the paper very quickly. Like the more you rub that felt tip on paper, it doesn't take long before it starts to ruin your paper. So I actually felt that they worked much better being used this way where you just kind of lightly apply the color to particular areas and then kind of drag it out with water and lighten those edges and it kind of is this mix between a marker and watercolors in that way. So this can be a really good option for watercolor artists who are just looking for something new and something different to try. I actually really enjoyed working with both of these overall. As far as the differences between these go, now this kind of has to do just with the fact that the Tombows have a wider range of colors just because it's a larger set, you know, it's twice as many colors, so of course there are more, but I had more trouble dealing with the managing the saturation of the Arteza ones. So my, I was going in with colors that were just way too saturated compared to um, the Tombows, which of course, because there are so many colors, they offer a wider range. So you're gonna have more of those pastel colors. And while the colors are kind of meant to be blended together, like mixed on separate card, I wasn't 
that's not really what I want out of these. I want to be able to apply color directly to an illustration and then spread it out. So I guess I could have blended separate colors and got more specific tones, but that wasn't how I wanted to use them, so I didn't use them that way. And ultimately, it's funny because I am happy with how both pieces turned out, even though they're very different and I'm totally okay with that. Another thing that I actually really like about the cheaper brush pens, the Arteza ones, I actually found that the brush tip on those, with those bristles, gave me more interesting lines. You'll see later on in the piece I actually did tiny bits of line work just around her neck area and then also the bits of strands of hair that I used, the brush marker for that as well. And I found that I liked using those bristles more than the felt tip of the Tombow. The Tombow, the more expensive one, does give you a bit more control with those lines because the felt tip is firm so you have to make more decisive decisions to apply or decrease your pressure whereas with the real bristles it's harder to control the line variance but because I'm kind of familiar with using things like brush pens and things like that a line width variance wasn't really an issue for me I'm a little bit more used to working with variances and line weight but ultimately I would say I really liked the color range of the Tombos, which of course is just because it's a larger set, but I actually really prefer the bristles of the cheaper one. So it would, I think that if Arteza had a larger range of colors, I would just go just get the Arteza ones and for using with this sort of technique, I really like them. But the Tombows aren't too bad. I, I enjoy them and really with brush markers like this, especially water-based ones, oftentimes they're geared towards like people who do calligraphy or hand lettering and things like that because of those brush tips. You can get nice lines for calligraphy with varying line weights and things like that. So I think they're both okay for that. If you were looking for something for calligraphy, I'd probably go with the Tombows just because the ink flow is a bit more regular and isn't as patchy. But the dry brushing effect, if you're an artist, can be really nice. So I'm in, I enjoyed working on both of these pieces, and even though they're really different, I like how they turned out. So I hope this little comparison was helpful to you guys, and thank you for watching. I really enjoyed making this one and putting it together, and I will see you guys next week in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye!